with Snoop. No. All right, so I was trying to teach you how to knit back there, and uh, I, uh, you caught on a little bit. I got a little, a couple of squares done. Yeah, know. a couple. You, you kind of undid it more than you did it. We actually <laughs> gave you something that was done, and you started undoing things. But so I want you to teach me, um, because I don't understand, and I think you started the whole for jizzle, tizzle, uh, yeah, chisel? Yeah, yeah, for chisel. For chisel. Yeah. All right, now, is there a certain, can you just make up anything? Is, is there a, a, a rhyme to this? Is there, like, do you... It's more, you know, it's more of a communication thing, you know, hood to hood. And right. it just seemed to jump well, out I'm of hood. the hood. Well, I'm hood. Talk to me. I got you, brother. Yeah. You know, it's more of a, of a, of a, of a, a cold language. It's like a side language between me and you, you know. So when I'm isling at you and isling on you, it's about me and you. It ain't about them. It's about us. So the right. isolation is, you know, between our communication so yeah. we can isolate, you know, percolate and conversate. Percolate and conversate is what I would say, too. Um, <laughs> so this would be a, a, a kazizzle, a cup? Um, a kiz up. It's a kiz up? Yeah, a kiz up. All right. And the, the tibili? The tibili? Tizable. Chisable. Yeah. All right. And the chisare? Yeah, you got that right. Really? Yeah, Is it chisare? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I stumbled into it. You got that one right. So here's what I'm trying to, because I feel like it, it, these words come out of nowhere. You start, you're trying to keep up, and I try to keep up. You know, I watch my BET every day. I'm trying to keep to up. <laughs> uh, banging and, and uh, have you heard of gully? Yeah, that's the East Coast terminology. Okay, so uh, what does that mean, gully? I'm from the West Coast. So you don't know what it means? <laughs> All right. What is it? Um, <laughs> so, uh, but like slamming and bananas, uh -huh. is that what, what's, that means it's good. It's like exciting, like, you know, overwhelming. And, and uh, cold and ill. Yeah, that's brilliant. Mm hmm it, Okay, so if we came <laughs> up, I'm, this is what I'm getting at. Don't you think if you started any word, people would start saying it just because you're throwing it out there, and then we can Come on, let's do one. All right. I'm thinking, like, I'm creaking. Like, my bones are creaking. And my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, my, don't my, my laugh. bones Wait till is, it's catching my on. My bones then, is creaking. My bones is creaking. My Look how you do it. Look, my bones is creaking. Bones is creaking. See? All right. So start that. Start okay. doing that and see how many people start yeah, doing see it. See if they get to creak a late. That creak a late. That's right. <laughs> All right, you know how people say it's cold? Mm -hmm. I was thinking, what about like, you know, that's tepid, or that's room temperature. That's tepid? Yeah. Tepid? Tepid, that's tepid. room temperature. That's uh, room temp. Hey, that's tepid. See, what, what, say it that's, like that. That's tepid. See, it sounds cool when you say it. Yeah, quiet. All right, what about like, ooh, man, he's, he'd be crawling. He'd be crawling. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know how somebody that's like chilling, you know? Like, okay, okay. he's not in a hurry. He'd be crawling. See how cool that sounds? Yeah. All right, so the things you're gonna start catching on creaking? Creaking. Yeah, my bones be creaking. My bones be creaking. And then uh, crawling? He'd be crawling. Yeah. And uh, tepid? It's tepid. Right, all right, so those three things, and let's see how fast it ends up on BET. Okay. All right? Let's go. I mean it. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, now, listen. I, I, I like the CD a lot, and I like uh, everybody. And I love Pharrell. And you worked with my boyfriend Justin Timberlake. Yes, I had yeah. to. Yeah. That's my main man. That's my nephew. Good looking, Justin. He came through the studio and sprinkled the track for me one time. Put a little seasoning salt on it. He put a little seasoning some salt on it. And he yeah. sprinkled it. Yeah, he did. Uh, was he creaking? He was bones was creaking. Good, good. <laughs> I think it's a great track. I, I, I believe it's tepid. Oh my God! I have, I have your cooking book now. <laughs> That's fantastic! Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now, is there pot involved in all of these things? No, actually, there are no uh, recipes that have marijuana infused. I know. No? I, I wanted to keep it clean. <laughs> this is my first book, y'all. I wanted to keep it clean on my introduction. And then the next book, you'll probably oh, do oh, that. Please believe it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you ha you are busier. Than I mean, could you imagine when you started out that your career would would not only last this long, but all the different areas that you would go into? Not really, but I've always been like like the class clown ever since I was a kid. So I was able to try different things. I was able to to be different and not be afraid to to you know go out on a limb and, and just put my career, put my life, just put everything out there and let people know that I don't care about what you feel. I care about what I feel. And sometimes me feeling good is me expressing myself in different ways and different avenues. And you've done that in so many different avenues. Now you're acting, right? Oh, yeah. I try to do my little thing on screen sometimes. Uh-huh. <laughs> you did uh, Law & Order. Yeah. 
And then you did a movie. Mm -hmm. And then what do you like better, movies or TV? I think probably TV. Because it's faster. It's faster, yes, and you can mess up more on TV. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you also, I mean, well, Martha, you and Martha are fantastic I together. Love that is story. such a great idea. I how love that Martha. came about and how I didn't think of it, I'm mad. <laughs> um, you must have so much fun. I mean, that's like just a joy to do that. I love me some Martha Stewart. She is yeah. Justin Bieber, his roast. We started, you know, connecting and connecting and. You know, we started talking and chopping it up, and before you know it, we was on screen together. Yeah. Now, do you do you have a house up there also near her? No, no, no. When I go that way, I like to stay at her house. She got a house. Her house is so big. Her horse's house is bigger than my house. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a lot of horses, oh, too. Got, yeah, she got it going on. Yeah. Congratulations on your uh, your uh, star in the Walk of Fame. That okay. was fantastic. Thanks. I saw that the other day. Uh, Remind everybody who you thanked? I thanked myself. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Had you not thanked yourself before? Never. Yeah, that was the first time you that thanked yourself. That was the yourself. first time I ever thanked myself. I always yeah. thank everyone else. Uh-huh. When are you not high? Like, like are you high now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say this, Alan. Your bathroom is a nice uh, hot box area. Uh-huh. Yeah. I actually shot some footage in there on my Instagram that you'll be able to look at later on okay. in life. <laughs> I have to tell you, you, your bathroom has a direct pipeline into my dressing room, and I was smelling <laughs> what was happening in there. I was like, I was like, Snoop is here for sure. I just wanted, you know, let you know I was in the bathroom. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> All right, teach me a new word, because fushizzle was a word that you, uh, that I learned from you. I think everybody learned from you. What, what word can I learn from you today? Uh, let's see. What should be the new word? What are the kids saying? I think your new word should be. Monopolizing. Oh, I know that word. No, no. It's oh. a difference between monopolizing and monopolizing. Tell me what monopolizing is. That means that you popping off and you dropping off and you getting it in and you spinning off and you doing different things and you doing things in different countries and then you coming back home and you staying on the air for three more years and you living your best life at the same time. That's monopolizing. All right, well. I'm gonna monopolize. I have a gift for you. <laughs> when you're cooking, if you want it, are you gonna wear this or you, you're not I will, gonna? I will wear that for you. For you, I will. Okay. But we're not winning right now, so I, what is I know. <laughs> but, but maybe they will if you, because you bring good luck to things. Thanks. Right? So can I bake this with some of that infused? Yes, <clears throat> yeah, do that. All right? Will do. All right. Um, I love this. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I mean, I knew you were going to be iffy about it because they're not doing well right now. But I'm but... down with my team. Whether we win, lose, or draw, I'm a Laker to the end, so it don't there matter. There you go. See? That's right. All right.